Did I get the player? Okay, there we go. So we got the Link versus the Ike here, starting off on PS2. So both players have a sword, have a lot of range, but Link has his projectiles. How are we gonna see the difference? Chat trying to give him some tips, but it's too late right now. It's all up to Bebino in his, in his own knowledge to bring it up. Nice double Nair into back air, getting some good damage. Keeping center stage, these Nairs are landing, and you know they, they convert off some good damage. Up air, catching the toes of Link. Nice call out with the grab. Just clearing up that space with the upbeat. Gets out of that position. Now back to center stage with a strong lead. Waits for the neutral get up. Gets the grab. Tries to go for unfortunate SD for Ducky Doom. Now even bigger lead for Baby Noel. Like down throw, up air, into the fort air, 50%. Baby knows uh, Ducky Doom trying to answer back. Okay, edge guard situation. Can he cover? Does not cover the side B, unfortunately. There we go. He tries to cancel it. I'm sure Ducky Doom could do some nice fort air. Actually catching Baby No there. I think it was strong. I'm, what I was saying is, I'm sure Link could edge guard uh, Ike. Although it must be difficult, there must be a way. It's good damage with the near up air. Strong lead for Baby No. Oh, now he's at kill percent. These Ducky Doom just not expecting Ike's range. Even though, even if Ike swings slow, he's using. He has a huge sword, man. He's just reaching out, exactly catching him, jumping backwards. Baby No rushes in with a dash attack, clearing out that second stock. Ducky Doom there was trying to throw boomerang, jumping back, retreating. Baby No was all ready for it, going in. And now Baby No's taking his time, knowing he has a lead. Just needs one opening and it's good damage. Okay, edge guard situation. These side, the maybe no going for these uh, higher side B is just not allowing Link to use his arrows or his boomerang. Duck, Duck Doom throwing his boomerang or tries to go for a read with the forward strand, so just tries to end it all. Is he gonna be able to? Okay, not punishing up that. Be fortunate for Duck Doom. Throwing out his boomerang. Ducky Doom is going to want to try to get a kill here. So throughout this match, I don't know if it's the pressure, the matchup, exactly. Oh, there he gets a bomb, but this bomb, ha we have not seen this bomb that much. One of two Link's main tools, he it's being pretty much ignored this, this game, unfortunately. Now, maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe Ike has a bomb counter, but we're not seeing a lot of bomb action. Except for these Asgard situations where he uses it twice for now, but... Something's gonna need to happen hugely for that. You know, a whole stock lead. Finish it off with a Fordell. Calling out Link's approach. Jumping off onto the stage. Bebino starts with a strong lead. Starting on the set 1 0. So it seems like Bebino won't need the telepath telepathic advice just for now. Maybe send some love to Ducky Doom. But, uh, so we haven't seen that much bomb, exactly. I was surprised. I was playing uh, Ducky Doom and Friends earlier, and that bomb was getting some mileage. Really annoying to play against, which, not annoying in a bad way, but that's Link. That's what Link does. He has projectiles, that's what he's meant to do. And it's just, we didn't see that much of that game. Maybe he's gonna change it up this game, going to Smashville. Let's see what happens. This is Ducky Doom's counter pick. Bebino's just getting these hits, and we're, they're leading to more. He's just swinging harder and getting more damage. Link's getting these straight hits with these boomerangs, but these, they don't do that much damage. Except, okay, it's in there, not leading to anything. So I think Ducky Doom's gonna want to play around that platform here. Exactly why he's picked this stage. Maybe with this up air through the platform. Knowing that uh, it's, it covers a lot. Double Nair into up air. Such a classic eye combo. Getting a, gets a lot of mileage. Bomb and play. It does take a lot of time. Babino's not allowing him to play right now. He's not allowing him space to set up his traps with the bomb. Pretty much a tied game. Whoever gets the first stock is going to be a big lead here. Because Doom has been struggling to get these kills. Ike getting these Nair into others. He has these kill confirms. That Forza exactly just killing there. His raw hits will hit. Link has a specific moveset that will hit, that will kill. Nice upbeat, not killing, unfortunately. Arrow not high enough to cover that. Babino makes it back to the stage. Very, 
Okay, double up B. I mean, Babino wins that interaction with the super armor. Again, like you trying to that you know on the ledge but he just has that escape to the super armor coming in clutch once again nice empty hop turnaround grab into a nice three hit conversion off of that because that one neutral interaction that he won gets him a lot and that's been consistent throughout the set back to the grab and there for, fortunately for ducky doom saving him with a boomerang okay nice there we go punishing the side b Ducky Doom finally getting Ike's first stock. At a 100 there, Dash Tag calling out. Maybe no calling out that Ducky Doom's gonna go down. Dash Tag clearing that up 100. At 100%. A clear stock here for Babino here. Gets a grab. Look, he gets so much every time. That platform actually coming in clutch for him. I mean, he's always getting these Nair into multiple aerials, getting so much mileage with that platform, even though it's Ducky Doom's pick. Link just not having these clear cut combos. Nice patience by Babino. Going for the suicide of B. Actually, that, that was fatal. He going for it all, but forgetting perhaps that he had a bump to cover back. 122 on Ducky Doom. He's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to make something happen here. But any move from Aiku is gonna kill. Anything is gonna happen. Up tilt. Okay, my apologies. I'm just a liar. And actually not killing. Still a huge percent lead. Gets the down. Gets the down throw. I don't think he has a kill throw. Ducky Doom using is such a great tool, using his Nair to try to space out Ike, but Ike with a huge disjoint sword up tilt covering his approach, getting that second win. Baby No going up 2-0 in the in the set here. So this is the first set in losers that it's actually a best of five. So Baby No up 2-0. Ducky Doom can still bring it back. Let's see what he does. This was Ducky Doom's counterpick, but it seems like I was getting so much mileage from that middle platform. Just all these stray hits with the Nair leading to so much more. He was honestly getting way more mileage than Link throughout these openings. So even though I wasn't counting who's getting more openings, but Ducky Doom is just getting more damage off of each opening. Ducky Doom is switching it up saying, okay, you know what? Maybe the platform wasn't the best idea. I'm gonna go for a flat stage. We're gonna go to FD. And uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Three, two, one, go! There we go. Starting off with the bomb. We've seen game two be solid, but more bomb usage than game one. But still, it might have not been enough. Link with center stage here. Nice spacing on the forward air, not getting punished. Just using his Nair to, uh, to space. Such a good tool, no lag on that, which is a lot of range. Pretty good startup frames. Got to do with the... Well, it's pretty much a tight game. Again, that up beat covenant clutch. That super armor just getting him out of trouble. And now, even though it's almost even percent, I feel like Babino is in the lead. Exactly, and Nair up air. These, these conversions are gonna kill very soon. It's a, I feel Link needs to hit him so much more, and he doesn't have these crazy kill from confirms that come so natural to Babino. Nair up air, the back hit of the Nair there. Exactly what we've seen all throughout this set. Just these kill confirms, clearing out these stocks. Nair back air, it's just so much damage. Babino actually really using his double jump nicely. Playing that with his patience, just waiting for Ducky Doom to do something, waiting for not him to do anything, and punishing that. Just using his movement and his range. Not being punished, he's safe landing onto the ledge. Gets the arrow, but still has his jump. Lead for Baby No Ducky Doom just needs to get these kills. Another Nair up air. It's adding up. It's adding up. The thing is with this matchup, oh, even the bomb not being able to get that up beat makes it trouble for Link. Link loves to get edge guard using that bomb in that situation, but Ike's just built different for that matchup. Yeah. 
another Nair landing. So even though Ducky Doom's getting these percentage on Baby No, but he's not cleaning out these stuff. A Nair at 140 something, like that, he got a kill. Don't get me wrong, but that's not how you want to end it. You need these strong hits because Ike is just going to hit harder. He's just going to kill you earlier. Ducky Doom trying to go in with the Nair. Not able to juggle him. Baby No just getting back to the stage, chilling. Not going to be enough. Maybe no charging enough. Ducky Doom, see, Ducky Doom is getting good percentage here. He's not having trouble getting these hit, but it's killing them. And he can't seem to set up a wall with his projectiles. Can he do anything on that? No, he can't punish that. No invincibility on that ledge. Still manages to get back. That up just being so crucial in this matchup, it seems. Throughout the stage, been using that. Calls out his approach with the up air, clearing out that stock. This is potentially Ducky Doom's final stock, but he's saying now, Baby No, you will not get through that easily. Brings it to one stock apiece. Baby No had a pretty big lead there. Baby No brought it back, but uh, it's all going to be on this final stock. Nice little string there with a the bomb up smash. Calls out Baby No's option with the grab. Now Link, huge sword with the down air. Ducky Doom actually with the lead here. Let's see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can maintain it. Switch something up. Getting a hit for the with the boomerang. Empty being so loud. Nice. Walking up to Baby No. Baby No shielding. Ducky Doom resets that situation. Trying to end it all with the up B, but getting punished. A big punish already. Baby No stacking up the damage. Two openings and already at 97%. Now the advantage state is on Baby No's side. The bomb, not gonna be enough. Ike's gonna charge that zombie. How is he gonna answer? Not gonna cover anything with the up B. That up B at ledge is getting so much mileage for Baby No. Every time he's in a sticky situation. Can Babby, will Ducky Doom prevail? This is his, potentially his final stock. Will he have a final say in this matchup? Oh no, Upbeat's onto the stage. Gets let go. Tries to end it all with the Upbeat, not catching Babby, no. Down throw, not gonna be enough. 10% difference between the players, each at kill percent. Anything's, anything's gonna kill at this point. It's who hits who. Ducky Doom, oh, gets called out. Baby No jumping over Ducky Doom's Nair into the back air. Ducky Doom winning the third and final game of the set. Move. Uh, yeah, moving on.